So the Next.js team has released a security update or a patch release regarding the Next.js middleware and potential risks affecting some types and some kinds of Next.js deployments. We're going to go over the details now. So Next.js version 15.2.3 has been released to address a security vulnerability and we can read the details here. Uh, they recommend all self-hosted Next.js deployments using Next.js Start with the output of standalone um, update their servers instantly. So if you're not familiar with the outputs, there are different ways that you can host your Next.js app. For example, you can just host it on Vercel or Netlify, or you can self-host it using output standalone, which is going to create a mini server that hosts your Next.js app. Um, this is affecting those applications. Actually, further down the line here, it mentions um, that if you're hosting on Vercel, so if your Next.js app is hosted on Vercel or Netlify, you're not affected. And if you're using static exports where middleware is not even executed, because, um, again, this is another way of outputting Next.js as a static site, um, again, you're not affected in those cases. But if you don't fall under this category, if you're self-hosting it, especially if you are using uh, middleware or you're relying on the middleware for your authentication, this might be something that you want to look into. So going back, that's what the standalone means. Um, the details of when they received this patch and when they triaged it for some updates. <coughs> About the vulnerability itself is that Next.js uses an internal header, header called X middleware sub request, which is an internal header Next.js sets in order to prevent an infinite loop of calling the middleware. But if you pass this header into the request that you're having, it can potentially skip running the middleware, which could allow requests to skip authentication or, or any other critical checks if you're depending on the middleware for your auth or authentication or authorization um, before reaching the routes. We're going to see an example of it in a second. Uh, again, impacted scopes are not all Next.js applications. If you're self-hosting Next.js, using the middleware, running the Next.js start, or um, with while you're having the output standalone, usually when you're having the output standalone, you are calling node and then you're going into uh, the next folder into the standalone fo folder and running the server JS, which is a mini server hosting your Next.js app. Um, this affects you if you rely on middleware for auth and security checks, which are not then validated later in your application. So what this part means, if you're just barely depending on the middleware for auth and security checks, and you're not checking the user inside your pages, now, sometimes you may require or you may call, like depending on what authentication library you're using, for example, if you're using Clerk, you might be calling uh, the auth function inside of your page to get the user-specific information, for example. If you call any of those functions, it is going to actually call the backend. It is going to detect that the user is not signed in, um, that it's going to protect the page. But if you're not doing any of those, which typically you wouldn't do on static applications, that you're just running the middleware to have like a paywall or a protection um, to gate your content and you're not running any of, any of those other functions that actually call the backend and, and check the token, uh, you might be vulnerable. And if you're using Cloudflare, you can turn on a managed VAF rule um, to, we're going to talk about this, to um, kind of mitigate this risk right now. Now, the not affected ones I already mentioned. So if you're deployed on Vercel Netlify or you're not even running a middleware, then you're not affected. There has been patches. So best option is to just update your Next.js and your authentication library to the next or to the latest versions. And they've released patches for all major Next.js versions, 15, 14, 13, and 12. If you can't... Um, update your Next.js to a safe version. Um, you can, for example, on um, 
your hosting provider, if you are using Cloudflare, for example, you can set a specific WAF rule um, so that it prevents external requests which contain this specific header from reaching your Next.js app. So if you cannot upgrade your Next.js app to the latest version, at least you can filter any request that comes to your site that has this header to prevent this request from reaching um, your server or your Next.js application. So overall, it is a very nuanced um, security issue where it doesn't affect all Next.js apps. It is specifically if you're self-hosting it, using the server, the standalone output, and you're using the middleware for authentication purposes, uh, you might have been affected. In all other cases, you're probably safe, but just so you know, it's always best to know what exactly is going on and um, update your version to the latest version. Before we wrap up, I want to show an example of this. It is using an older version of Next.js. I'll include the link in the description to the repo from Yunus Aydin. Now, in the app, we are having a middleware. We are pretending that we don't have any authenticated state so, or any authenticated user. And here, we are matching the protected path and basically checking to see if the request incoming request is for the protected path. If so, we check the authentication state, which is just set to false. And in that case, we need to redirect back to the home page. So if the user tries to access the protected page while they're not authenticated, they should be redirected back to the home page. And we're going to show that if we pass this X middleware sub request header, it is going to bypass this middleware and land on the protected page. So let's run this. Before I run it, actually, in the next config, we are um, setting the output standalone. So this is what you need. Therefore, in the next, there's going to be a standalone directory and a mini server that you run to host your Next.js app. So let's go and actually run this server by running node next standalone server JS. So we are now running our Next.js app on localhost 3000. Now I've installed a um, extension that allows me to pass request headers. So let's pause this for a second. Right now we don't have any header passed in. So if I refresh and try to go to the protected page, it redirected me back to the home page. And this is how it is supposed to work. But if I go and now um, play this again, where I am passing in this X middleware sub request to my request, and now refresh, if I now try to go to the protected page, it bypasses the middleware and shows me the protected page while I'm not even authenticated, because inside of the middleware, as we just saw, we're not, we're just mimicking our authentication. We're just setting the authenticated state to false and it should have redirected me back to the home page, but this didn't even run. Now, this is also logging the headers that comes with the request. And you can see here that we do have this X middleware sub request. So the first time that we ran, um, it wasn't present. So uh, this didn't exist. The value was null. The second time that we ran that we actually had uh, the header, the middleware was bypassed and we don't see any value logged in here and we're not in fact redirected back to the homepage. So I hope this was helpful. Um, the best recommendation is to upgrade your Next.js and your authentication library to the latest versions that already mitigate or patch this new release or this new security vulnerability. If you have any questions, like always, hit me down in the comments and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.